Funko funked up again. Let's talk about it. Welcome to the gas and gas. We're glad you're there, Sai. You get the right time. We got an all time line. Uncle's hot toys and John don't mind. Stick around, like, comment, and be sure to subscribe because life's a little better when you answer Chris and Heather. Hey, that's a little better when you answer Chris and Heather. Hey, that's a little better when you answer Chris and Heather. And remember, if you travel walls, we are together. Yes. Are you surprised? Not at all. Typically, Funko screws something up along the way when it comes to cons, and this time, it's a pretty big one in my opinion. What is it? It's big. It's thick. Girthy. You sure you want to know? Yeah. Well, Heather, it was reported on Disc Funko Pop Hunters, somebody went to the Funko store, picked up an R2-D2, and there was a problem with it. Do you want to guess what the problem was? Uh, something about a sticker is my best guess. Okay, sticker problem. What else do you think the problem was? Come on. Come on, Heather. Well, rem remember, there were like two separate stickers I do. on the glams. I do, Heather. Come on. Come on, Heather. What are you doing? I don't, I don't like what you're doing. Okay, so the problem is somebody went to the Funko store today, which I guess would be HQ. Somebody picked up the Funko Pop. It came in a box. It had the bag Wait. and the Funko Pop inside. Hold on, hold on, hold on. So it was in like a, almost like a shipper box. It was like in a box. And it came with a bag and the pop. Bag and pop. This person opened up the box to reveal that the bag was in there. And then there was a Funko Pop just sort of like on the side of the box. And there was some damage on the Funko Pop. They didn't even pack it properly. Oh, I'm not surprised about that. Although it wasn't shipped, that's not a good sign for the Funko Pops that we're about to get that we ordered from Funko Shop today. Yeah, that's not a good sign. Because those who ordered R2-D2, does this mean it's shipped exactly the same way? You're going to have a damaged Funko Pop and that sucks nobody likes that and that's horrible yeah that would be a bad day i hope that that's not the case for everybody who got theirs today and guess what i didn't everything was f***ed. did you get one today no great you're my lucky charm you're the only person in this couple that gets anything do you want to know why i didn't is it because you're too slow no is it because your prescription's off on your glasses and you couldn't see nope is it because your internet speed was really slow nope is it because an antelope came galloping in your office while we were trying to order it? No. It's because you were on the phone with me. Oh, come on. We were on the phone at 9 a.m. Oh, so you're blaming me now. It's not because you couldn't type in the credit card number fast enough. It's not because you couldn't I put in your... I had it preloaded. So what did you get from Funko Shop today? I didn't get anything. What? You didn't try to go for the sodas? They were up. No, because then I'm paying $7 in shipping. F*** that. Well, you're an absolute failure today. You didn't get anything. I could have gotten them. I just didn't want to. Did you even want that R2-D2? It just seems like you didn't even want it. I, I didn't. I got it because you said that you wanted it. Whoa, whoa, whoa. We had conversations about this. You wanted to wear that little X-Wing backpack around. You already told no, me. No, I said I would, but I didn't say I wanted it. You said you wanted to put it on. You wanted to bend over and run around the house like the X-Wing was flying around. That's what you told me. Are you saying that that isn't what you said? Okay, fine. I said it. That sounded really fun. But since I didn't get it, I don't want it anymore because I'm not spending hundreds of dollars on the aftermarket. Yeah, now they're up in like $250 to $300 range. I saw it on eBay today. This was something that people said at the beginning that they didn't want and they didn't care about. But they sold out in like 30 seconds. But I wondered, did they sell all 3000 on the website today or not? Because Disfungo Pop Hunter trackers posted that they might go up on the Star Wars Celebration webpage. Then I saw somebody else mention that they might go up on Repop. They went up on Loungefly, but not only that, Funko is saving a bunch for Star Wars Celebration 2024. Oh, that makes sense. That's exactly what they did with Obi-Wan. It's shocking they didn't sell this Funko Pop at the con. I still don't get that because that would be something that everybody would want to go to the booth for. And that would be the very first thing to sell out because people would be going crazy over the limited item. But that didn't happen. So people fought and tried to get that R2-D2 today and it sold out really, really fast. And I collected comments from a bunch of different people who had something to say about it. Uh-oh. All right, this is one cocky mother f Glad I said nope after I added it to cart. It wasn't him saying nope. It was his f cart saying nope. Billion dollar business. You love to see it. That sounds like something an old man would say. A little old manny. Yeah, let's throw it in the corner of a box along with a backpack that weighs 10 times as much as the Funko itself. In the photo, you see the Funko Pop sort of down just like wedged into the corner. So it's like they just threw the in there. This is why I hate buying from online. 
but none of my local stores, and in parentheses it says, and we have multiple, got any. I have no choice. Now I just have to hope. Cry emoji. Okay, this comment is really confusing to me because they're talking about purchasing pops online when this post isn't about purchasing pops online. It's literally about someone who purchased the pop and the bag at the store. And not only that, but then they mentioned that they have a lot of stores near them and that their stores didn't get any. But no stores besides the Funko store got these pops. I think they're just saying they don't like buying online. They'd rather just buy it in their store. And this is why they don't like buying online. However, this post is about somebody buying in a store. Maybe they saw the box and instead of reading the caption, they just assumed I think so, yes. that it was online. Yes, but how could they even assume that? Because the Funko Pops weren't able to be ordered till today. $105 pop and that's what you get. Gross! Okay, it's not a $105 pop. You're mostly paying for the bag. It's a $90 bag and a $15 pop. Gross is the term you use if there's like a booger on the bag. Like Heather's farts are gross. So my fart is a booger on a bag? It's nothing like a booger. It's just disgusting. I feel like Funko is going to replace the boxes though if they do come damaged. So I personally don't feel like this is a huge deal. What is a huge deal is the sticker that we didn't talk about yet. Besides Grogu, all these pop suck booty. Why are people all about this Grogu now? I don't understand. And it's only because it's limited. I mentioned this in yesterday's video. If you haven't watched yesterday's video, go back and watch it after this video where we talk about all things Star Wars Celebration. This Fungo Pop isn't that great. It doesn't look that great. What the f Do you understand any of this? Because you were the person who said they wanted this Grogu, Although you've never watched Mandalorian, you have no idea I what have Grogu watched is. Mandalorian. Heather, you watched like 10 seconds Grogu of it. Let's is. get get real, Heather. You did. But why do you want that Grogu? I think that he's great looking and I like that he's sparkly. Are you serious? Yep. You sound like one of them. I don't want it for the sticker and I've been saying that I've wanted it since I saw it. So no, I don't sound like one of them because one of them, they all say, oh, I really like that pop. No, you f***ing don't because you hated it two weeks ago. This sounds like a sticker hoe in the making. You are a sticker hoe. No. I know what's going on here. I can smell it. And it stinks. That's my breath. Chris. Okay, so the sticker is the biggest part of this Funko Pop. You can either get a Galactic Con exclusive sticker or you can get a Star Wars Celebration sticker. And on each one of those stickers, it should say limited to 3,000. Well, this Funko Pop in this photo does not say limited to 3,000. That's a problem because what ends up happening is people receive this Funko Pop. They then email Funko to complain that they didn't get the sticker and now Funko has to send them a new sticker. But that means they have to make a new sticker for somebody which costs money. Then they have to ship the sticker to people which also costs money. That's a lot of money. Yeah and even if you have billions of dollars or millions of dollars or whatever Funko has, they still don't want to spend extra money when it could have been done right in the first place. And also Funko, what the f about the damage? That's trash! We should at least have the Funko Pop in one of the little box protector things. A sorter. I do not know why they didn't pack a sorter in and it basically just leaves that Funko Pop vulnerable for damage. Pretty up Funko. Just as that person had pointed out, it's $105. It's still a lot of money. You want your stuff to come pristine. And so this is another way that Funko is going to have to replace the boxes because people might email and say, hey, my box is damaged. This is a 3K Funko Pop. I want it to be pristine. The ones that people complain about, Funko is now going to have to replace their boxes as well. So a sticker issue, a box issue, they're just stacking up the monies mm -hmm. over stupid choices. And how could it be that Funko cannot get stickers right by this point? I feel like that Funko should know well enough what stickers should be going on the Funko Pops. And we're seeing like weird issues across the board. Like common Funko Pops that are showing up at Walmart with Walmart stickers, which we still haven't figured out if that's a Funko or a Walmart issue. But then you have a problem like this. And I believe this one to be a bigger problem than all of those other sticker issues. A limited Funko Pop should have the proper sticker. I could totally understand if a pop didn't have the sticker on it but they're straight up just putting a different sticker on these pops. What's really bizarre to me is according to the Glams, the Galactic Con exclusive sticker should be black with like a silver or whitish color, but the one in this picture is green. So like, where the f 
fuck are they getting this sticker? I wonder if that's to set it apart from all of the other Funko Pops. Maybe they're doing that instead of putting 3K. I mean, I don't understand. And I know there are stickers out there that do say 3K on them for this R2-D2. But because this Funko Pop was only sold on Funko Web, I guess there aren't any Star Wars Celebration stickered R2-D2s. So in the Glam, it does have a Star Wars Celebration sticker. In this other Glam, it says 2022 Galactic Convention exclusive sticker. Where are the ones with the Star Wars Convention sticker or Star Wars Celebration sticker being dropped? Were they dropped at the Lounge Fly booth maybe? I don't know. I don't know either. Or maybe the Loungefly website had the Star Wars Celebration sticker? Like, this is really confusing. And maybe if you went to Star Wars Celebration, let us know in the comment section below if you've learned something that we haven't talked about in this video. It's like someone just made it green. And I didn't realize it until you just pointed it out. I'm so confused. So we have a bunch of different stickers for this con. So we have the Galacticon sticker. Mm -hmm. We have the Galacticon green sticker. Mm -hmm. We have the Galacticon limited sticker, Star Wars Celebration sticker, and Star Wars Celebration limited sticker. What the f A lot of stickers. Well, no wonder they're f***ing confused because they got so many damn variants of sh yeah, and the green ones, again, are just so weird. I, I don't even understand how that even fits into this. Like, it's a completely new design. I was expecting for it to say something like 2023. Like, it was like next year sticker that they accidentally put on some of the R2-D2s or something. But no, it's another 2022 sticker. This sticker is more appropriate for the Grogu Funko Pop. It has green in it. Yeah, but why even make different stickers? Uh, yeah, I don't know. Why it's not just weird. have... Your Grogu limited sticker, your R2-D2 limited sticker, but they're the same, except they just say 5,000 and 3,000. And then you have your Galacticon sticker and your Star Wars sticker. And realistically, the R2-D2 shouldn't have the Star Wars Celebration sticker because from our knowledge, it's online only. It right. should have the Galacticon sticker. Right, it was only online Funko Web, so Funko.com, and also Loungefly.com, which I didn't even know he was dropping there. Like, there was no indication that we were going to see it on loungefly.com. I think it's happened in the past, which is why people thought to go there. Yeah. But how'd they break it up? So Funko.com got some, and then so did Loungefly. So was it like 1,500 here and 1,500 there, or 1,000 here, 1,000 there, and another 1,000 at the store? Like, who knows what's going on with this? Who knows if Funko maybe has another stockpile of these things? Maybe they didn't get them all in. Like, originally it was supposed to be at Star Wars convention? I don't know. It's weird. All of it's weird. It's really weird. The other weird thing is that the Concept Series Funko Pops today sold out C-3PO, R2-D2, and then Darth Vader. I just don't understand. I mean, the Darth Vader looks like he's smelling a fart. That's exactly what his helmet looks like, just like that. So the Concept Series wasn't very well received the first time that they were dropped. I'm surprised that these sold out so fast. Although there are people out there who just want something maybe a little bit different than the Funko Pops that they dropped this year because they were kind of boring. These do look a little bit more interesting, but I find it funny that these went that fast, whereas a couple years ago, nobody gave a sh but maybe Funko took that into consideration and they're like, well, no one's going to care about these. Let's sort of limit these without telling anybody. Well, I don't think they were limited. They're actually going to be sold on Disney's website. So on Shop Disney. Oh, well, maybe that's where they're putting the bulk. Say they made like 15,000 and they put like 2,000 on their website, but then the remaining 13,000 is going to Disney's website. Disney purchased those from Funko. So Funko is not really taking much of a loss. They're not uh -huh. having sit on their website. They right. already gave it to like pawned it off to Disney and said, here, it's your problem now. So this Star Wars celebration, as we mentioned yesterday, was pretty lackluster. There wasn't anything that was like a showstopper. Although a lot of people will make you think that the Grogu was the best Funko Pop ever released in 2022. I think that it was just very mediocre. I didn't really care about it. And I would have to say that the R2-D2 is way better. I like them both. I prefer the Grogu. Well, I was going to say we have so many R2-D2s, but we have so many Oh, we have Grogu's. way more many Grogu's. I think it's because Grogu's cute and like R2-D2's just a weird robot. Are you kidding me? R2-D2 was the cute character before Grogu hit the scene. If you think robots are cute, that's cool. It's R2-D2. He's beeping and sh**. Are you kidding? He's got little three wheels. He's doing this. Are you kidding me? He has like little tools that come out. It's the cutest thing ever. Yeah, I'm not sold. <sighs> By the way, I wanted to let you know that I was right. About? I said this a while ago, and you didn't believe me. You said, I don't think so. But the R2-D2 Funko Pop fit in the little porthole on that X-Wing bag. I told you 
I, I just said that based off of the way it looks on the screen, it doesn't look like the hole's going to be big enough. That's what he said. Oh my god. You're disgusting. <laughs> Ew. But that X-Wing bag in that R2-D2 was really, really, really cool. I happen to like it a lot. And unfortunately, we weren't able to get it today. However, we had a friend at Star Wars Celebration who was able to get us all the characters with Star Wars Celebration stickers on them. The Luke Skywalker, the Darth Vader, all the single Funko Pops. But those Funko Pops will be giving away during a future Patreon call. That's right. Patrons get excited. We'll be giving these guys away to one lucky winner the entire set. They all have the Star Wars Celebration sticker, and I think that's awesome. So what did you guys think about the Star Wars Celebration drop? Did you get what you wanted? Let us know all that and more in the comment section down below. In every video, we like to shout out to some of our patrons from Patreon. In this video, we'd like to shout out to David Jones, Brian Barrick, The Marvelous Collector, Michael Burnham, Zach Bonifer, Carl Hale, Terry Jackson, Cliff Demzik, Cody Pace and Lauren Maxey, and Lindsay Weintraub. Thank you guys so much for your continued support. We appreciate all of our patrons from Patreon. You guys rock! Head over to 7BucksAPop.com every Saturday at 3 p.m. Eastern for their signature series. This Saturday, they have a ton of office actors. You don't want to miss out on that. 7BucksAPop.com All right, it's that time again. Remember, as always, we are together. Yes, we'll catch you next time. Bye.